Okay guys, so in the 1920s, you're going to have the emergence of new values, all right? So new values are going to emerge. Now, some of these are going to include um, women, of course. With the passing of the 19th Amendment, now it gives women the right to vote, and now they have more freedoms. Um, you begin, or they begin to have these flapper attitudes, right? Um, they begin reading Sigmund Freud and treated sexuality more openly. So they would talk among men, talk about sex among men, and before this, it was not proper for a woman or a lady to talk about things like that in front of guys. So now these flapper attitudes, they're more free, they're more independent, and um, it all comes with the 19th Amendment. Now you also have the Tin Pan Alley. This is a section of New York City where songwriting and musical ideas were mixed together, right? Tin Pan Alley. So if you wanted, you know, a good song written, it would you would go to New York. The Vaudevilles are stage entertainment. Um, and then you get into the youth and the lost generation. They rejected the idea of material wealth, kind of like what we saw in The Great Gatsby. Uh, you have Ernest Hemingway, well, poets like Ernest Hemingway, Sinclair Lewis, and of course, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and the Jazz Age and The Great Gatsby. Um, we saw the movie Great Gatsby, and it says the, it was about a really rich but mysterious and unhappy self-made man. And then we know what happens at the end, of course. So that's going to actually represent the downfall of the 1920s. Now you're going to have the Great Migration. Okay, the Great Migration. Two million African Americans moved to the North, the Promised Land, right? They felt that they were going to have more equality in the North. So you have this massive movement of African Americans from the South to the North. Now, they still found racism once they got to the north, housing shortages and crime, but it wasn't as bad as it was in the south. Harlem was the biggest or largest black neighborhood, right? Harlem, which is in New York. And it's going to lead to the Harlem Renaissance. Now, you've seen the word Renaissance before in your world history class, and it's going to be the revival of art. So this is an awakening of African-American culture, of music, dance, and visual arts, you have people like Langston Hughes and Elaine Locke, poets and writers. You have County Cullen, which is one of the leading poets, and Zora Neale Hurston, which is one of the first successful African-American women authors. Okay, so that's the Harlem Renaissance. Now, you're also going to have other kinds of ideas. Uh, Garveyism is one of them. Marcus Garvey was born in Jamaica. We saw him in the, in the video that we did the video quiz in. He encouraged African Americans to have their own shops and businesses, right? Let them have more money, and of course, money will be power. And he promoted this back to Africa movement, saying we don't have to, them as African Americans do not have to be in, in the United States to have equality. We should move back to Africa and make it our own. And we should, you know, promote prosperity over there. It says African Americans should move back to Africa, especially Liberia. Now, it was very few of them that um, actually did move back, um, but before his whole movement was over, he was arrested for fraud, so that movement was shut down pretty quickly. Now, a couple of popular new heroes. You're going to have Babe Ruth, of course, and if you're a baseball fan, you know he's one of the greatest. Jack Dempsey. Charles Lindbergh, he's the first person to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean on the Spirit of St. Louis. Okay, if you have any questions, you let me know.